The ultimate race in Blox Fruits might not be what you think it is. It's a race that makes anybody kneel before you like a god. And it's called the Angel Race. So today I'm awakening the Angel Race and unlocking all of its V4 abilities. And unlike the cyborg that I currently am right now, to get this race, we can simply get it right here by simply doing a race reroll. Wow. So hopefully I don't have to spend hundreds of Robux. Please give me a first try. Oh my god, race changed to Angel. It's fate. And I've got tiny little wings on my back. <laughs> They're so small and puny and I doubt I could fly with these. So we're going to need some bigger ones. And just like every other race in Blocks Fruits, we first need to get it to V2 because currently these are just V1 angel wings. And to do that, we need to complete the Alchemist's Quest, which is going to have us searching for three different colored flowers scattered across the map. It's currently nighttime, so that means I think I can find the blue flowers. So if we head over to... Nope, that was not the place I wanted to go. I want to go to the big plant. There we go. We're in the green zone. And hiding in the green zone, there should be an Alchemist. Is he around here? Yep, there he is. You can't hide from me. It appears I haven't unlocked my maximum potential. Yet. If I'm seeking more power, I need to bring him three flowers. Yup. Now we just need to find them. I think one of the best places we can search is graveyard. This usually has like a lot of blue flowers, like right here. Surprisingly, wasn't too difficult. Next up on our list is the yellow flower, which to get that, we got to beat NPCs. And luckily for me, because of my last video, I've got the dragon talent move so it can bonk. We can just destroy these marine lieutenants real quick. Hey, there's no escape. Where are you running to? Ow. Give me your flower. Oh, first try. There we go. We got the yellow flower. And now we just need to wait until daytime. And then we can get the second flower, which is the red one. It's finally daytime. That means I can search for the flower. But I gotta be super careful because there's people basically everywhere. There could be enemies. No red flower. Usually it's like right there. Please, I just need a fl one flower. That's all. There's a titan over there. I gotta be careful. Any flowers down here? Nope. I can't remember where else is a good spot. I think over on this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can spawn on these things here, right? Come on, come on. I'm not seeing anything. There's gotta be at least one. I'm not seeing anything. Thing. Okay, we're going to green zone. Surely there's a flower. Nothing behind the chest. What about over here? Nothing by the plant. The longer I go without this flower, the more dangerous it gets. So I need to be careful. How hard is it to find one flower? What is this? This is actually the most I've ever struggled to find a flower like ever. Oh, that is a venom guy. Yo, relax. Are they good? I don't think they can drive that thing very well. Look at them. <laughs> I think I could probably take those guys down if I wanted to. Okay, okay. I gotta focus on the task at hand. Finding a flower. Can there be one over here? Any flowers? Nothing. This is ridiculous. The flowers just doesn't exist anywhere, apparently. What is this? Oh, wait. I forgot about one final place. And that is right up here in the mansion. This is the only other place it can be. I've checked every other possible spawn. So please, Swan, do you have some flower here? Yes! Oh my god. Okay, now I just need to get over there safe and sound. But there's an all-out war going on over here, apparently. I'm just coming through. Don't mind me. You guys have fun. Quick, go, 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 go. My little wings are too slow. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. V2 is mine. Yes, your race has evolved. Wait, have my wings changed? Are they any bigger now? Wait, what the literally no change. Hold on a sec. I've been scammed. He took 500k and nothing changed. Well, I guess if we want to see a big difference. We'll probably have to get race V3. And to get race V3 with Angel, what do we have to do? Let's huh? begin. What am I beginning? Talk to me once you defeat one of your own kind. Wait, what? So I've got to find another player with the Angel race and take them down? Or do I have to go into the first sea and defeat the NL boss? The guy with the rumble fruit. Let's see if I can find somebody who's like my race. That guy over there, I think he's a ghoul. What about this donut? Hey, donut, are you an angel? Nope, he's also a ghoul. What about this guy? Are you an angel? Oh, you're a rabbit. Disgusting. That guy's also a ghoul. Why are there no angels? It's the coolest race out of all of them. What is this guy? He's a ghoul. Oh, I found an angel. He's sat in a chair though. Yo, get out of your chair. He's going over there. What are you looking at in the blocks for his dealer, huh? What is this guy? I can't tell. Do they have wings on their back? They're covering it. Yes, yes, yes. Go out this way. Out this way. I need to lure them with a fruit. Can I buy one? Hey, gotcha. Let me buy a fruit real quick. No, I can't lure them out. I might have to go somewhere else to try and find the angel guy because I think there's only one angel in this entire server. I'm in a brand new server and we're looking for angels. That's a mink. Two minks just looking at each other. Oh, that guy's a shark. I'm gonna go have a look at this guy. There's a straggler all the way over here. Are you an angel? I can't tell. What is this guy? Yo, just stand still so I can have a look like on your back real quick. Yo, dog. Oh, are those angel wings? Yo, I might need to defeat you real quick. What about your little friend here? Yo, why is the bacon beefing with me? Okay, I'm gonna go get the quest and I'm gonna kill this Buddha guy real quick and we're gonna see. No hard feelings. It must be done. Hopefully he doesn't leave the server before then. I'm gonna go sneaky beaky. Here we go. He's over there. I've spotted him. He's not ready. Um, yo, where are you going, chief? Yo, get over here. What? How did I miss? Yo, I need you for something, brother. Hey. Player died recently. Are you jo- uh, The only angel in the entire server has died recently. I'm so mad. Is this guy an angel? I mean, is everything okay? Bruh. Wait, he's just- Bro, he's using- Okay. You think that's allowed? You think I'm just gonna let you get away with that? Boom! 
That's what I thought. He was probably a ghoul or something, you know, because angels and ghouls just don't get along. Anyway, the hunt for angels continues. Can we go test just to make sure? Is he an angel? Nope, he was not. I gotta go and complete the task. What is even that? What is it? Doesn't seem like an angel to me. There are a bunch of other players scattered around in this server, so maybe one of these guys has angel? An angel. Yes, yes, yes. Leave, leave. Stop grabbing the chests. He's just gone into the nether. Where did he go? Oh, there's an angel v4 here. That'd be even more poetic if we took down that one. Whoops. An angel. And he's in... Oh, bro, some random magma guy killed me. And he just killed the angel guy as well. I'm so mad. I didn't even get a chance to phase into a different reality. I just died. This guy here's the angel, right? Oh, he's already getting fought. Get over here. Does he have PvP on? Bro, he doesn't have PvP on. And now the random magma guy is attacking us again. Oh, he just hit me with that. Okay. Oh, no. The magma guy wants me. He's got a soul guitar as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm in danger. He's got human V4. I'm out here. Cafe. I'm safe. <laughs> that was way too risky. Perfect. An angel. You're dead. Wait, I forgot to get the quest. Oh, I'm so stupid. Are you an angel? Oh, you are. Okay, I'll be back for you. Just chill a second. Wait a second. BRB. Oh, he's followed me in. Parallel escape. Oh, no. He grabbed me. He's trying to avenge his friend, but he doesn't know. But I'm ready. Wait, what? How can I not hit this guy? Oh, he's got cursed all katanas. Oh, he missed. That might be one of the biggest mistakes you've ever made. Get over here. Boom. Oh, that was huge. Oh, I hit him with that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hit him with Dragon Talon, please. Is he dead? Is he dead? How low is he? Is that him over there? Oh, he's done. You're literally mine. I got him. Oh, my God. Please. I think I did it, Arrow. Well done. Yep, two million. Your race has evolved. New title. I'm a perfect being. Look at my wings now. And I've got heavenly blood. I actually can't believe I managed to do that. That was crazy. V3 of Angel has some pretty cool effects. When I use my ability called heavenly blood, I get an increase of defense by 15%. And it heals around 20% of my maximum HP, which is absolutely busted. But most importantly, with V3, we now get these bigger wings. And oh, they actually move. Oh, that's so sick. All that is left now is awakening our race. And luckily for me, because I've done like literally every other race before this, I don't have to do any of this stone tablet or Mirage Island stuff. I can just go straight into it. It is so close to being a full moon. And my biggest problem right now is I can't get up this tree. What is this? I'm supposed to have wings. Why can't I jump high? I can do this. I'm so close. Have I made it? That took so long. I finally made it. And despite the fact I made it to the top of the tree, disaster struck as all my footage was corrupted. So let's speed run through what I managed to salvage. I began by quickly heading into the the temple on finding the angel trial entrance. But we had to be quick because this was a public server and I'm not built for winning fights in the third C. Gate open! With my trusty banana, I can do this. Wait, that platform just disappeared. Ah, somebody failed. Bruh. Attempt two. Here we go. Boing. Boing. It's a me, Chris Pratt. Oh, I'm going crazy. I'm not failing. Yes! Thanks to my banana helping me out, I completed the trial, won the free-for-all, and began my ascension into becoming a god. New title unlocked. His majesty. I am about to literally become a god among men with my holy banana. So after awakening the clock and heading outside, I began my training arc. And then it's time. Awaken! Oh my god. I look insane. I'm floating with two extra wings. I am ready to pass judgment onto anybody. And this is only the base form of the angel awakening. We're gonna be so sick soon. Once training was complete and I paid 1,000 fragments, I could enter the next trial. And this time I used the pilot helmet to get through it really easily. And then I could choose my first angel powers. King's rule adds an aura around the user with multiple effects, slowness, damage, energy drain, and screen distortion. Or I can get Prince of the Skies. This allows the user to glide in the air. We're gonna get that first and then save the godly aura for later. This time while training, I tested my flying powers and it felt completely like creative mode in Minecraft. And after about 30 minutes of being an awakening, bro, I look like some kind of fallen angel devil thing with this face on right now. Wait, I gotta try something. Can I fly to the sun? I gotta test this. Can you reach the sun in Blocks Fruits? And I just realized I'm exactly like Icarus. Oh. Oh! oh, I'm fine. With my next set of training done, I headed back into the trial after waiting an hour for a full moon and once again completed it with ease somehow. Then after using my godly powers to win the battle royale, I could get my next gear piece from the clock and I chose King's Rule. Here I go. It's time to ascend. King's Rule. This is why this is my favorite awakened race in Blocks Fruits. Kneel. And you kneel. <laughs> Good job having ankles, losers. The way it makes it look like they're bowing to me is too 
too sick. Like, if this keeps up, I'm gonna develop a brand new personality. But anyway, after completing another 30 minutes of training, it was time to get the final gear of my awakening. Or so I thought. But when I made it into the Fortnite arena, there was an imposter among us. And he had a Buddha fruit at max level, so I died. After that, I had to wait for another full moon. And then finally, this is it for the final trial I need to do. So this should be the hardest parkour yet. I mean, it won't be anything for a god, though. I'm built different. I gotta go really far. Should be there. Yep. Predicted should be there. Oh, I nearly missed. When they go invisible, it's terrifying. Here I go. Here I go. And boom. I made it. And because I've made it, I can finally complete the wheel. And then we just need to complete all of stage five. It's time for you to go. Boom. <laughs> that Buddha was easy. Now here it is, the final wheel. Wait, I just gotta get to the very top of the stairs first. Hello, Orb. I've made it to the clock. This should be my final thing, right? Yeah, the little one. Okay, King's Rule 2 or Prince of the Skies 2. Gotta get King's Rule 2. That one's the coolest. I want my godly domain to make everybody kneel. And now if we come over here, we should just be able to upgrade and then that'll be stage five. Yep. 3k. There's one. It is time to make everybody kneel. I am God. Nobody can stop me. This little mob over here, he doesn't know. Oh, he's dead. Then you can kneel instead. Yeah, good luck trying to stand up. I'm too OP now. I absolutely love this race. It's so cool. I literally have creative mode. And we are going to be putting this creative mode to the test in all of the third C. I don't know why I came up here. I just thought it would be more dramatic. So let's start with heading to Port Town and taking down Stone or Pebble, whatever he's called. Activate Hacky because I always forget to do that. And now we take down Stone. Let's try it with the Portal Fruit as well. We'll combine Portal with this fighting style. I need my Awakening Bar to fill up faster. Come on. I've got every power of Angel. Why is it taking so long? Is Stone just too weak? Can I not even enter my awakening mode? Okay, Stone, wait here. I'll be back. I have awakened. You're done, Stone. That's right. Try and do anything. Kneel. <laughs> what? You can just infinite stun the butt out. Did I say you could do that? Sit. This is amazing. And then if I use my fighting style as well, he can't really do anything. I gotta kill him by making him kneel. This is the only way. Yeah, good luck moving, Stone. Boom. Stone defeated. Who is next on our agenda? Next up is a boss that's really usually quite difficult for me to take down. But how will he do against godly powers? That's right. Kneel, Captain Elephant. You're done. It's still kind of risky even if I can make them kneel because of the amount of damage that they do. Attempt to. You are not ready, Captain Elephant. I'm back and better than ever. Kneel. It's working. I got him in an infinite portal combo. <laughs> I need my healing move right now. Fly away. That's right. Try and hit me now. Oh, he hit me. Flying is not as OP as I thought it was. But this awakening is so OP with fighting styles, it seems. Because I can just get in close. There we go. We got him. I can get in close and just punch him. Who is next? Next up, we're flying and we're taking down... Who is this? The Island Empress. And it's going to be easy. So much for being an Empress when you're facing a god. Neil. Ow. Oh, she kind of hurt. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, yeah. She's getting low. Yes. yes. That's another one defeated. And my awakening is almost running out. That's not good. Now I think it's time we fight a Marine Admiral. You know, something light. I mean, this could be literally one of our hardest fights yet. Kneel down, Admiral. Kneel down. Ow! Yeah, it makes sense I can't make the Kilo Admiral kneel. Why is she low-key harder than the other people we've fought so far? I nearly got gutted. This is so risky. Oh no, my awakening ran out. Wait, stay there, Kilo Admiral. I'll be back. Round two. This time I know exactly how I'm going to take her down easier. We're just going to make her sit down the whole time. Get over here. Come on, please. Please. Yes. <laughs> I actually took her down just with this. The final opponent is somebody who I have spent way too much time dying to in the past. Because she's like 500 levels above my level. So it's only fair that I get revenge now. And not only that, I'm going to take her down without even using a single attack. We're purely just going to make her kneel for the entire fight. Oh, wait. My awakening's about to run out. That's not good. What I'm about to try could quite possibly be one of the stupidest things I have ever done. But nevertheless, I'm not pressing a single left click. Oh, wow. Okay. I am so sorry. Neil. I can actually probably do this. I just got to keep on running and make sure I'm healing the whole time. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Observations on now. You'll never hurt me. Now we go invisible. Ow. <laughs> That's actually so good. I just do a drive by. It's working. I can't believe it's working. Yeah. Good luck trying to hit me, Kate Queen. I'm too quick. This is How is this actually doing so much damage? This is crazy. Activate my race skill so I don't die. Oh, I'm going to run out of awakening before I even No. If only it lasted longer. I'd actually be able to do this if it lasted longer. What if I just stand here and like tank it? Maybe. I refuse to give up though. <laughs> you will die by kneeling, please. Okay. Just keep on dodging. It's doable. It's really doable. It's going to be close though. Though. I've only got two bars left. Please. Please. She's so close. No, it ran out. Okay. She was actually one punch, but I managed to defeat her all on my own. That just shows the power of a god. 